Hello, I'm Joe Manganiello with your WDT News Week in Review for December 12th, 2014. Today's first story, the trucker who initiated an Antwerp crash that killed six has been sentenced to 30 days in jail. Reported by Gordon Block on Friday, James Mills of Pennsylvania received the maximal possible sentence for a misdemeanor reckless driving conviction. An attorney for the victim's families remains frustrated a higher charge was not possible, saying a charge like negligent homicide, which carries a much steeper penalty, should have been used in this case. The North Country will receive $63.4 million in economic development funds. Reported by Craig Fox on Friday, in all, 69 North Country projects were funded, 25 in Jefferson, St. Lawrence, and Lewis counties. Since the program's inception in 2011, the North Country has received $274.1 million to fund 222 projects. In total, Governor Cuomo announced $709.2 million in funding for projects throughout the state. Violis plead guilty to violating child labor laws. On April 24th, Brett Bouchard, 17, severed his right arm at the elbow while cleaning out a pasta machine for Violi's restaurant. Bouchard, now 18, was hired to work for the restaurant without working papers. Benny Fairchild reported on Wednesday, the owner and co-manager of the restaurant in Messina had been ordered to pay more than $13,000 in restitution and up to $9,000 in fines after they admitted they had violated state labor laws. Ross Violi, 76, and Dominic Violi, 79, pleaded guilty to misdemeanor counts of employing a minor and requiring that minor to clean an industrial machine as part of his duties. Elise Stefanik has been named to the House Armed Services Committee, reported by Gordon Black on Tuesday. The committee serves as the apex of defense discussions, and Stefanik said she'll be at the center of replacing the sequester without sacrificing national defense funding. On Wednesday, Stefanik was appointed to the Education and the Workforce Committee. Stefanik 30 also has a spot on the House Republican Policy Committee after being the youngest woman elected to Congress this November. And our final story for today, a Fort Drum ceremony marks the end of a mission. Gordon Block reported on Tuesday, after more than a decade in Afghanistan, a period Army Secretary John McHugh called a generational journey, it was time for the soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division to reflect. McHugh, Governor Andrew Cuomo, and Representative-elect Elise Stefanik were on hand to mark the conclusion of Operation Enduring Freedom. After the ceremony, Governor Cuomo spoke about his hospitalized father, former Governor Mario Cuomo, who was a key supporter of bringing the 10th Mountain Division to the post in 1984. Governor Cuomo said, quote, My father's eyes were beaming, and he started telling stories about Fort Drum to my daughter. All the times he was there, how important Fort Drum was, and how excited he was about the progress at Fort Drum, end quote. Well, you can find all the stories we talked about on the webcast online. Go to WatertownDailyTimes.com or find us on Twitter at WDT News. And you can find us on Facebook searching the Watertown Daily Times. Well, for your WDT News, I'm Joe Maganella.